Let's bring in Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon, who's live tonight from the Atlanta Technical College campus. Doug, the water crisis, it is highlighting the need for more watershed employees. Tell us about this new program that plans to make this happen. Yeah, well, it's already underway. It's a partnership between Atlanta Technical College here and the city of Atlanta, and it's really to get some workers through the door uh, that they desperately need. And that became very glaringly obvious that there is a shortage of qualified watershed workers here in Atlanta over the course of the last couple of days where much of the city has been without water. The shortage of specialized watershed workers, the people who could have quickly fixed or even prevented this week's devastating water issues in Atlanta, is real. We had a job fair last year for watershed. 500 people have showed up. Only 39 were eligible for positions. Council member Antonio Lewis says try as they might, Atlanta just cannot get water workers that it needs. Talent shortages are, are real uh, across the water and waste. So at Atlanta Technical College, they're making those workers. Dr. Lewis Burke helped create a program, a partnership really, that will train existing Atlanta watershed employees to prevent large issues like we've seen over the last few days. What kinds of technologies and skills are necessary with that? How to troubleshoot water and wastewater issues? Again, all things that are applicable to uh, functioning with new and old technologies. With a mix of classroom and hands-on training, eight current city watershed employees will spend the next two months learning new skills that should bring peace of mind to Atlanta residents. The water and wastewater uh, training that we provide is certainly a wake-up call to invest in people. Uh, knowledge and skills uh, is as important as infrastructure and technology. Yeah, this couldn't have come soon enough, and it was actually in the works for years before Friday's water main breaks caused all these issues. Everything is being paid for through this partnership with the city, and they hope to expand this program in the coming years to get more trainees through the doors and out into the workforce. From Atlanta Technical College, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.